Hi, this is Aaron Russell, head coach of your Richmond Spiders women's basketball team, and you are watching the Legacy Maker Sports Network. Legacy Maker, the all sports network. Ladies and gentlemen, to Commonwealth Sports Talk, Season 3, Episode 12, with your hosts, Joe Diller Jr. and Anthony Robinson. This week's special guest, Keith Hornsby, former LSU star and overseas pro. Welcome to Commonwealth Sports. I'm your host, Anthony Robinson, today, my co host, Joe Dillard. Y'all give a round of applause to my man. Uh, we got a banger for you this day. We've got Keith Hornsby, Williamsburg legend, Boo legend, Asheville legend, LSU legend. Overseas. Oak Hill. O Oak Hill, yeah, my bad. Oak Hill. HRA. HRA. Tony Smilin said oh what up. Oh, my God. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing just fine, man. I'm out here in Germany, just, you know, going going through the season, but I'm doing fine, man. It's good to talk to some people from the 7-5, man. You it's already good. know. There you go. What's up, bro, man? Nice nice seeing you, you know, uh, uh, during this crazy world, this crazy time we're living in, pandemic. Um, you know, I know it was it was definitely a challenge getting back over there when it was time to go and, and, and things like, how did, how did that go? Like, how was all of that, that process and stuff? Boy, it was, uh, I'll tell you one thing. I was lucky that I'm with the team that I'm with because they're pretty responsible. You know, if I was with some, some of these European clubs that kind of don't have their, their stuff together, then man, it would have been a, it would have been hell, shall I say. Yeah, but it yeah we I definitely had to go through a lot of stuff, especially me and my especially because I was bringing my my wife over with me from the start. Um, so we had to do a whole bunch of paperwork, um, get you know COVID tests upon arrival. Look, it it just you go got to go through a lot of hoops, but luckily the team was like really really on it, so that that helped out a lot. And you know that made the transition yeah. easy. What was that? I said, I know it made the transition a lot easy. Oh, oh for look, sure. Easy. Yeah, 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 definitely. For sure. So, so you and know what the, the one of the top your leagues over there? Yeah, my my team. Um, you call it EVE. You know, it's like E W E. Yeah, you that's know, what I. I, <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that till I. That's the main sponsor, but it's EVE Baskets Oldenburg. Yeah, it's it's one of the top teams in Germany. Normally they. They're in a European competition called Euro Cup, which is a okay. second tier to Euro League, um, but also you know the German BBL, which is a it's a top league in Germany. It's it's a strong league, probably like a top five in Europe. Um, but they, uh, yeah, they're they're always you know trying to go for a championship. They're always top four or so. So it was a big step up for me to to come play for this team this season. Yeah. Y'all are so, playing good, man. I see y'all uh, about what eighteen and five, I believe, with a win just recently. Um, yeah, I, you think eighteen and eighteen and six? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Look, Close enough. You uh, your last game, you put up fifteen in a blowout. That's what you're averaging right now. How does it feel with with the team flowing like they're flowing? I see you said everything is they taking care of business, which is good. So how does it feel to be in that rotation, the winning rotation in a competitive league, as you said? Like, how's that working for you? It's, I guess, you know, I, I'll, I'll go back a few years. I spent a lot of three years in the G League. Like, you may have uh, 
Yeah, we're going back. May have seen, oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And there was, you know, that there was a lot of good that was taken out of that time. But one thing that I can appreciate about this team I'm on now is kind of the the intellect that they play with. Um, it's just different. And I'm also on an older team. So they they make my job as a scorer a lot easier. Um, like I find myself in this year in scoring situations, whether it be threes or kind of attacking situations, a lot easier than in years past. Um, a lot of that is because my teammates are just such veterans that they understand the game so well. Um, but this year, man, I mean, it's we have a good roster. Um, I think we're fourth tied for. I think we're fourth now. Um, and you know, it's it's all it's always good to win. But I've been shooting the ball really well this year. I must admit, the league That's plays brutal. with these spalding balls, these spalding basketballs. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they they're off the chain. <laughs> like they, they got they got good grip. And and I don't know if you know about the the FIBA molten balls, like the the orange and yellow. Yeah. Balls like man, those things. Oh man, I played with those last year in the Polish league. It, that's tough living, man. <laughs> that's tough. They uh. So do, so do y'all have fans? Y'all have fans? A lot of fans or a little bit? Well, that's the thing that this team is known for their for their fan base and you know they sell out pretty much every game and in like a good good arena about a seven thousand seater yeah. but this we haven't had fans all year wow no not one and that's because to be honest germany hasn't dealt with uh coven in a great way um it's been disappointing ah. obviously uh but at this point you know to be honest it'd be kind of weird to play with fans. <laughs> like because you've been doing it so long this year, Exactly. This for, you know, seven months, six, seven months now, like every game almost feels like a scrimmage. It's great. <laughs> I swear. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, you go out there all hyped for warmups to like empty bleachers and stuff. And <laughs> DJ play. And like, well, you got you got you got to make your own uh, make your own energy. But I mean, every team has to deal with it here in Germany. Right. Um, so, you know, it's uh, but it's just something the casualty of the times and hopefully eventually fans can get led back in. Facts, facts. That's dope. That's dope. So I said we're going backwards. So, you know what I'm saying? We have the current time in Germany, and you had some G League time. I the mean, legends. What, what happened? Yeah, yeah the, the, the legends, I, yeah. Oh, I was sad. I told you, I'm going to be the stat guy and let you roll off of it. So you led the G League in three-point shooting at 48.5%. It's pretty good. Yes, my third year, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, you know, that – that year, the NBA three was tough to adjust to for me at first. Come from college, also if, if you remember my shot from college, that that's <laughs> it was janky as heck. <laughs> uh, hey, look, I mean, man, it was, was cash, was, man. I, was, I don't I care what nobody say, man. It was I mean, cash, uh, it, and that's why I never, you know, I, I I didn't look to change it. That, but you know, if it went in, you know, if it ain't. Broke, don't fix it, but don't it was sort of broke. It. it was sort of broke in a way. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't textbook, but but you know, you can't shoot an NBA three with all that extra motion, right. you know, right. consistently, especially in a game when you're tired and your legs, you know, go a little bit. So I I changed my shot um before my first pro year. And the first year it was a big adjustment. So like I, I think my first year I shot like 35% from three. And I didn't take many, many threes. I was labeled as like a non-shooter my first year, which I, I was crazy, man. Um, Surprising. Blows my mind. Yeah, <laughs> from, the, from the young days for sure. But um, then uh, gradually I just kept putting the work in and the repetition. And uh, and my pops helped me out a lot with that. As, you know, he's very willing to do, but he's you also very know. knowledgeable. <laughs> he uh he was re in the summers he was rebounding like crazy as much as he could um and then eventually that third year it kind of just clicked and you know it's always easier when you making more shots I mean uh to, to feel get that confidence that. yeah but the whole year I was I was up in the fifty range but the problem was people start making a big deal out of it. <laughs> yeah. and so then like if I miss a few shots in a row people are like oh there goes that fifty you know like. And putting that <laughs> that pressure on you, so you know, in practice, like if I missed a shot, people were like, oh my god, like what happened? And, it's the end and I of the couldn't world. help it. It was like a, it was like a kind of a a good thing, you know, because I'm I, I got that, but also it gave me some pressure I didn't know could exist unless I was shooting about 
right 50 percent. but um yeah i finished a year off with that and uh uh, you know, I don't know if that really helped me out a lot. You know, it's still tough after that to get, you know, a summer league, which I eventually did, um, and then over in Europe. So, but I'm definitely proud of that for sure. Yeah. It was that, like a different transition the whole way through. Like it was the development league, then the G League, then the, um, with, uh, I think Houston, and then you went overseas. So when you went overseas, the decision, Seems from my point of view, by the way, I looked at your stats, it seems to be a stable, good one. Is that something you think so far of the experience, like a longevity opportunity? I see you brought your, your wife over there. So th mm -hmm. that experience is a full experience now. Is that something you see uh, continuing for yourself? Yeah, for sure. I mean, but I I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm going to be pretty honest. Like if I wasn't making good money out here, I wouldn't be doing this like the way that sounds i wouldn't be doing this because it's it's tough being far away from family and friends yeah. for so long um yeah. you know so and that's another reason i need i, I know come what, i know i know a killed mom she can't get to you like she want to but you know my mom traveled like crazy and no, she, she it's killing her it's killing her this year because she she can't she can't come this year but she came to poland last year twice for solid stints and that was that was great. I know she'll she'll come at a drop of a dime if she could. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. But um, fence. I like that. I like. Yeah, that. for sure. And and that's always good, you know. So that that helps out a lot. It's this year. It's been you know we we just you know they can't come. So it's uh it's to be expected. But uh yeah, you know, three years in the G League, you know, nobody plays in the G League for the money. I mean, I think everyone knows that. You know? <laughs> really. Uh, <laughs> And, and I never intended on playing three years. Uh, I was kind of in a bad agency situation, and I switched it up after my last year and uh, made the step to go overseas, and luckily we land in a, a good place. So I'm thankful for that, but it's a, it's a big commitment. Um, it's not for the faint of heart, shall I say, but uh, you, like, you, you got to love basketball to mm -hmm. be over here. If you don't love it, you might as well not even come across in water. So I got, so. a, I got, a, I got a sidebar. I saw on your IG, Heidi saw snow. <laughs> uh, and, and, yeah. and how was that for her? You know, like how how was that? <laughs> yeah, so she, she, it blew her mind. <laughs> so you know, being a Louisiana girl, she uh, doesn't snow too much down south, down, down there in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, or Baton Rouge. <laughs> So she uh, it was actually incredibly cute because before it really snowed, it was like a little light kind of almost like a uh, frost, almost like not real snow, just a light little coating over the grass. And yeah. she was super excited for that. And I was <laughs> like, oh, oh, man, you, you, you know, you have no idea. And right. uh, it but it doesn't snow here a lot. So it was kind of a surprise when it. Cause we just know in the four seven four. five, so you know, for you, you know, you, you know, we seen it. We get We've it at seen the it for sure. times too. So for sure, for sure. So yeah, you, know, you know, we get all four seasons, you know, in in Virginia. Um, so when the snow actually came, oh, it was it was it was so cute. It's like a little little girl out there for the first <laughs> time, all excited. Oh my, like you know, every little thing, you know, exciting her. The trees, yeah. you know the um how how the snow sits on the cars like it's it's uh <laughs> it, it was it was cool to experience that with her it was culture you know, almost winter wonderland <laughs> yeah cool. for sure for sure but it is like to someone who's never been in that around snow you know it's definitely quite My, alarming when you first see yeah, it yeah heck yeah heck yeah you don't even know what type of coat you're supposed to grab like <laughs> so so that's so you know like when when the when the big cold hit texas and louisiana i think a little while ago, while, yeah. she, while she was there, she she went home in February. Um, so so they uh, she went to TJ Maxx um, during the stint, and there was not a coat on the rack because <laughs> nobody owns coats. You know, nobody, nobody yeah, about to say you don't own. They it. don't have it. Uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, I thought that was hilarious, um, <laughs> and that's just that's just growing up in Louisiana, very that's temperate cool, man. temperate that's winters. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> so, college life, UNC Asheville, you did your thing there. 15 points, four rebounds, three assists, two years. 
what led to getting to LSU. Talk me through that. Hold on, hold on. POY. POY. Yeah. Hey. POY. Don't forget that one. Player of the year. POY. Player of the year. Player of the year. When was I that? I thought it was your freshman year. What, at, at, at Asheville? Yeah. Man, they didn't give no well, four points a game, averaging freshman, no player of the year. Your <laughs> boy. That's for the audio. That's your boy. Asheville, <laughs> man. It, look, good made you player of the year, man. They let that thing go, man. Hey, you put up 15, hey. years, man. Tell that man what you was doing, man. <laughs> I mean, my- my freshman year, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get much burn. I and mean, we had a great team. Like we made the tournament. We almost upset uh, S- Syracuse yep. in the first round to be the first uh, sixteen-one upset. But, but it didn't happen. Some controversial calls at the end. But sophomore, sophomore year, you know, I just grew, grew up a little bit. And man, I just started, uh, started rolling. Um, in Asheville, you know, I, I never intended on transferring. To be honest, like I, I was. I didn't go to Asheville like, well, I just want to do well here, then go to the, you know, the big yeah. dog. Right. Um, it it was a very kind of complicated situation. Um, and I, I, yeah, you know, I, I could. <laughs> it's really hard to to give it kind of a short spin, but um, but you know, Asheville was was a good place, uh, but it's not the best place to to be a basketball player, I guess, right. you know, it's, no. it's a liberal arts school, you know, they, unless you're like, you know, the a number one, a huge team, like, you know, they, they don't really care about yeah. uh, basketball and, and, you know, that it kind of, you understand that when you're there. Um, but, you know, right. after my sophomore year, when my coach uh, resigned, um, I started getting little feelers from high majors and then, you know, then you're, you know, your your daydreams start to happen, and, <laughs> right, right? You know, you start picturing yourself in the big arenas, you know, playing the ACC or SEC, and it's like, of course, when you're little, you dreamed about doing that stuff. Cool. Um, cool. And I, I to be honest, I never even got close to being recruited by those schools out of high school. I mean, you remember, you right. remember, no. you remember how you yeah. remember how little I was. Like, no, no high majors coming after me. I was, I was, I was a little spin, even at Oak Hill. That's like I was a late, times. late developer. I still had the right. baby face. That's and I, I get that. Times. You hadn't bulked up yet, man. Yep. Heck no. Heck no. I was trying, <laughs> but <laughs> I wasn't built like, like you were Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Nah, not yet, man. Not yet. <laughs> nah, but, but uh, when the opportunity came to, to go to LSU, it was LSU, NC State, St. Mary's or Gonzaga was kind of like my my top four. Gonzaga was kind of a distant fourth. They, they didn't really recruit me too too hard. But, uh, yeah, I really wanted to go to NC State, but they signed another dude, uh, Trevor Lacey, yeah. which is my position. When And uh, they still wanted me, but I thought a better better chance of playing was at LSU. And along with other good, good uh, things that I liked about my visit and just the possibility. And then I went and it was life changing. So, yeah, man. Nice. Look, I remember one guy, you hit the buzzer beater joint in the corner. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Was it, was it South? Was it South Carolina? Who was it? Was Arkansas. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah 32 yep. against Houston. Put up 32 yeah. against yeah. Houston. That man, hey. you you got it. You got it rolling. Yeah. Hey, hey, yo, Rob. Was there anybody at LSU from the seven five before him that we can highly note? Because I really wanted to transition into Cam and how we were continuing. Yeah, uh, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. I had to yeah. put Rob on spot. Uh, hey, Keith. Hey, That's how you I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it was. Yeah. I don't think so Thank either. You, to be honest, I mean it's. They don't. They don't recruit much in Virginia. I don't. But I mean, now they do. I guess they go into. But he was, he was at Oak Hill too, but he, and a five star prospect with uh Cam. But oh, uh, added up. same round. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's they recruit a lot in Texas and in the Georgia, um, Louisiana. I mean, it's man. But uh, I gotta give so, a shout I was out. To that, I was that LSU. That LSU life, man. You know, go go Tigers. Yeah, uh, even though, like, to be honest, like LSU is such a huge sports school. Like basketball was the third most popular sport behind football and baseball. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. but uh, I mean, I, I, an asterisk with my senior year because Ben Simmons was there, and we we're like, you know, I mean, you know, 
barring the disappointing <laughs> overall <laughs> finish. Like for the most of the year, we're kind of like top dogs, big, big men on campus. But I mean, it was a night and day difference for me from UNC Asheville, but it was, it was amazing. I mean, it was, it was a great experience. Um, yeah. And, you know, I sat out a year and then played two. So really I spent three years there and, yeah, I mean, basketball-wise, it was it was challenging, but I embraced that. I really developed my sit-out year to to be ready for the the junior year, and I was I was ready. Um, and uh, you know, love my yeah, well, I gained like I gained too much weight actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a little a little chunky to be honest. I was <laughs> getting a little hefty cool. out there. I was like. I think I yeah I gained like twenty five pounds or something of that muscle. good old that good old power five. Yeah, man, they were slinging that weight out there. That was <laughs> that that was another that th those weight sessions like it was a different type of commitment and and level. I mean, I you got no no choice but to embrace it. Man. But um, for sure, yeah, I was I was, <laughs> I was stacking on that weight for sure. Yeah, that's definitely crazy. So. He had the, the year with Ben, but let's go back to the high school level. When when did you realize that basketball? Let's see, I'm gonna go all the way back. You you're a rock star in our eyes. You know how it roll. You know what I'm saying? You you the man. You was cool to relate <laughs> to. You know what I'm saying? And in the same time, you come from prestige. So how 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 did basketball become your love? Like when when did that happen? Was it five? Was it two when you first got out, out to campus? What, what what were we talking about? Man, I would say two. <laughs> I my dad recognized that I had like a gift, kind of a muscle memory gift to shoot when I was very young, probably about five or so, maybe even earlier than that. That's awesome. But yeah, I mean, from then on, and and the question I always get is, you know, why why didn't you go into music, or you know, just because <laughs> of my dad? But um, Absolutely. you know, I, you know, but what what <laughs> you know what what uh what Rob knows is that, you know, my dad loves basketball. He do, man. You know? He definitely does. He'll yeah. just make a song up in a heartbeat uh, at yeah. the game. So hard to be the boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you did it. Raise your hand and did it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Man, that was so amazing. I, I coached at Bruton for like two or three years, and all I would hear – is about the legend of your father's work out there with between that triangle of WCA, Walsingham, and then all of the public schools, everything was basketball tight knit and they knew who was leading that forefront with your father. So yeah, that's how I learned that your dad loved basketball just as much as the next guy. And I was like, wow, yeah, you know, I thought that. No, in fact, yeah, you, so your, sure. dad, your dad was, uh, I might see your dad. I, I remember I seeing him at the UVA, UVA was playing uh some at the at the Richmond Coliseum. Yeah. And it was just random. I'm talking about he just walking through the crowd. <laughs> he he like, I mean, he will remain once like a bunch of fans. Like he he goes to all types of games. Yeah. He man. goes uh he's been going to a lot of ODU games. Yep. Uh William Mary, just... obviously, because it's so easy for us in Williamsburg, but but mm -hmm. I mean I guess he doesn't really go to any PD games anymore because he doesn't know any of the, right. the players really. But you know, back when all of you guys are at Phoebus, you know, like Chaz yeah. and you know, Day Day and all, all of them, like PD and all us, yeah. B Darden, you know, like he was there, went down there a whole lot. Um, so but yeah, he goes to UVA games. games. That's not surprising to hear that, you know, <laughs> not surprising at all. He goes to some That's HU why he goes games because of that that link. That ODU family is still at, at Richardson and out of Newport News and, and uh, for sure. And uh, and I, you know what? I really want. Uh, they offered me at the end of my. I was already committed to Asheville, but they still like extended an offer, and you know, wasn't much I could do. I really wanted to go there because um, I was playing. I was playing with those guys in the summer. Right. I was there with like you know Tree. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. Breon and you know it was still like uh Ben Finney was there like it, it was a good... <laughs> Wait, you said who John Tell Evans Bub. yeah you know to be honest he was Bub he, he wasn't really playing down there at least when I was uh I don't think I mean but Kent you know Kent Bazemore obviously right. it's all it's all the ODU ODU scene a lot of like beach and uh Norfolk pros kind of 
in college guys. But, you know, I was I would go down there and like hang out with them on the weekends and stuff. And I was like, man, this this feels like my my family, uh, you know, and, and when they they offered me, I was like, man, I, you know, I wish I could go here and not, you know, not <laughs> Asheville now. But, you know, if I had gone there, it, it would have been tough. It would have been tough. Water, a good you, man. you you probably was at the beach any other time you wasn't on the court, probably if you was out there just in the, the seven five. It's a, it's accessible. It's hey, very accessible. It. That's, that's what for we sure. do. That's where we're from. We gotta see the water, man. <laughs> My first yeah, time seeing you play in high school, it was it was at HIA. And uh could, did you play with Obi Soko? I did, yeah. He's in my okay, freshman okay. year, he was there, yeah. Oh, Soko was there, and I'm like, it was a play. You came down, and you laid it up. And I'm like, dunk that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you know but I you, couldn't dunk back then. <laughs> hold on, no, hold on. But you came back down the next joint and got on the rim. And, you know, y'all fans of HRA, you know, y'all was like, ah, you know, they was, they was crazy. You got the and one. You looked at me in the crowd. Was like, I was like, hell yeah, just like that. <laughs> I was like, hell you, yeah. You said that was ninth grade year for me. That that's part. If if it was, you, it was, you remember Ovi being there? Yeah. Uh, well, I remember you playing with. I don't think Ovi was there, but I do remember you playing with. Oh, I was trying to remember. Did you that, play with Ovi? So like ninth not? grade year, y'all. I was still a little baby. Nah, nah, you know, nah, I, nah, nah. I was. I wasn't getting no hands with. on the rim. <laughs> But I remember uh, I came to see you play at HRA. You had the lay, and you and you missed it, or, or you, you you made the you you got fouled. And I'm like, fuck that. Next time, go up there and dunk it. And you I went up there, that. punched it. Looked at me in the crowd, was like, like that. I'm like, hell yeah, like <laughs> it go, get, that, <laughs> get it up. That, that, that would have been sophomore year for sure. Yep. Sophomore year is when I started like developing the bounce for sure. <laughs> I would start a dunk like with ease sophomore year, definitely. Yeah, so that, man. That that would have been it. And you in the crowd for sure. I mean, HRA is not a big, big gym. You know, I would have noticed you immediately. You know, just pointed you right out for sure. <laughs> I rob anywhere, yo. I, I, know, I know I know I rob anywhere. <laughs> Facts, man. Facts. Then you went to Oak Hill, man. And, and, and how was that? Like, how was how was that transition? Uh, of course, I know you know eight, still private school, but. You know, big time private school now. Yeah, you know, I start out because when word got out that I was going to Oak Hill, I was still playing. I was playing sixteen boo with uh with Frankie. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and man, I I wasn't sniffing the court on that team. <laughs> so so man, but it was it was tough because people got word they're like, you know, why is this dude going to Oak Hill? You know, like I remember I was always getting like uh you know oh his dad his daddy paid you know for him to go and. And back then, you know, that's I recognize that, and you know, it was it was kind of tough because I'm like, well, they really don't know. I actually went up there and tried out. I already had an offer from Asheville, um, and their the assistant that we're close with played at Oak Hill, and I went up to uh, try out and just had a great, a hell of a day. And then Coach Smith asked me to to play for him for two years, uh, right. but for that leading up, that was kind of tough. I was just kind of waiting to go at that point. Um, but when I went, I mean, it was, it was that that fall was tough. Kind of like it forced me to really wake up, and and every day was kind of a a grind for sure. But it definitely made me better. I mean, it had no choice to. Yep. Right. And uh, luckily, the team, I uh, I played. A, I was like a six to eight man on that that team my junior year. I mean, we had you know four or five high major guys. Um, but then after that, like uh, maybe a few more, but. Yeah, it, it uh, it's just different. It was, it was Oak Hill. Uh, I'm always be proud to play there. And then, yeah, my senior year, number, I did. You hit what that, was that? You hit that fifty number at Oak Hill senior year. You shot fifty from the three point line. That was uh, that was unbelievable. Stat man, stat man, boom, 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 boom. Because because you know like back like at that point I was developing all that messed up stuff with my shot. So yeah. I, I shot fifty percent, taking that shit back. <laughs> I was I was I was slinging that shit. Hey, look, this before 50%. Matt hurt. This this before Matt hurt. Matt hurt got the 
I, I see that too. I see that. That's the Larry yeah, Bird like a, shout out. He's a, six eight, six nine. You you know? Six eight though to do that. That's the difference. Right. Yeah. You gotta be six eight to keep. You can, you can say it's pretty unblockable, but uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, I played with Quinn Cook that year, and Quinn was a great passer. You know, I will say, I'd say now he's the second best passer. I probably play with next to Ben Simmons because Ben's sure. just like a different type of level. Love but her. um. But yeah, I mean, I, 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 I was a starter most of that year, and I was the only returner for my senior year. Um, so it was a whole new group of guys, but a, a really good group of guys for sure. It was, and a better team, and we, uh, we almost won the national championship that year. We lost in double OT to Justin Anderson um, nah. at Montrose. Yes, your boy. Uh, that's that's my guy, and that was. <laughs> That was pretty brutal, um, but <laughs> yeah, you know, because Justin likes to likes to talk. So you oh know, yeah, he, he oh was, yeah, he, he was letting it letting it be known who won, and you can only imagine. I mean, it <laughs> is what it is. It's a winner and a loser. But uh, Oak Hill, I mean, in a way, I say physically it helped me prepare for college. Um, but then you know, nothing can really prepare you for the D one. But it's just different, you know. The Love difference between sport. eighteen year olds and 20, 22, 23 year olds is. It's pretty different. Yeah, it's um, day, man. Definitely, that's grown man for sure. <laughs> yeah, they, they, exactly, and that. So, but Oak Hill was a uh, was un- unbelievable. Proud, to, proud to be a warrior for sure. Fact, so, fact, bro. We appreciate you on Commonwealth Sports Talk. We know you out in Germany. The time is different, but we gotta have. Yeah, what time is it there, man? Well, you got to get. Uh, I think right now it's, it's five. It's it's um it's about nine o'clock. I think mean, it's a uh, it's five okay. hour difference right now from Eastern time. But yep. okay. like because because our because our uh our like daylight savings starts like two weeks after you guys. It's weird. Oh. So yeah, that this Sunday is when our it'll go back to six okay. hours. Okay. Yeah. Y'all got a game Man, in two definitely. days, don't you? Yeah, we got a game on. Yeah, Friday we leave tomorrow. Yeah, right. We play against uh. Oh, you remember Marcus Thornton from William and Mary? Yeah, no. yeah, they're they're you know I think drafted second round. Yeah, they're all time leading scorer. Yeah, we play his team nice. for the second time. Um, Y'all we beat the them dudes. Time. We beat them dudes by like fifty the first time. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, they, but but it's it's always different at their place. Um, so yeah, that that'll be a good game. And there's some other guys I I know on that team too. So, Thanks, Kit, man. yeah. Definitely appreciate you getting up here, bro, man. It's always man, great to see you, man. You know, I hit hey, you up I, all the time. I hope you're doing well, too, man. You and the family, you know, all, all, always one of, you know, our our favorite groups, our favorite families, you know. Absolutely. One of the best best part of my adolescence, you know, just being being in that in that group with the, the Hoyas. And then the next year, too, with you guys again, that was a kind of a tougher year, but, you know, it was, uh, no, we it was had great. fun, man. We played, we 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 played some big time ball when we beat the kid from Houston Hoops, and uh, yeah, uh, he was like number one in the country at the time, and and, and went down to Florida, got the Super Showcase, made yeah, the Final you know, Four the, in the fifteens. Nike, come on, bro. <laughs> different, different. I mean, uh, an underrated team for sure. Facts. Um, Facts. Underrated team. No, nah, you yeah, were great, dude, Jamal Branch. Jamal Branch is Jamal that guy. Branch. That's who it was. I played against him. I played against him when he went to St. – he went to St. John's, and I yep. played against him at Asheville, actually. Um, yeah. Now I remembered him from you know, – Hey, hey Joe, I took my dogs. I took my dogs in there, and we and we knocked out Jamal Branch and, and his squad. Okay, always nah, we, we played hard as hell. We played, we played hard as hell. I mean, that, that, that B. Darden syndrome, it carried over the next year. Back. Back. Going at going at people. We had Crazy. CT. We had we had hey, what Carlos, hey, Caleb, Caleb Carlos Anderson. <laughs> yeah, CJ. Facts, bro. Facts, man. I'm, hey, look, man. I'm proud of you, man. Proud of you. Oh, Love yeah. you guys. You and Heidi, man. Be safe, man. And, 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 and go out there, keep getting buckets, bro. And no doubt, that's uh, that's what it is for sure, and uh, it's great. There's a great surprise. Um, hope to see you guys uh face to face at some point here soon. You know, maybe it. this summer. Who knows? 
Hey, Rob, Facts. this is how I like to do it. I like to get these guys caught off guard because we do have a platform, Rob. But Rob know everybody, so I, I use <laughs> that sauce all the time. That, like, no, no, no. He definitely come knows on. everybody. Everybody knows him, too. Exactly. I'm like, no, just come on. And then they'd be like, oh, man. I'd be like, yep, I needed that. Hey, no, nah, when he told me who we have for this one, I said, oh, yeah, this is this this my this is my boy hey. right here, man. Great, great move. Great move. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dog. <y'all. laughs> appreciate you, man. Appreciate, hey, pre- you. Hey, pre- appreciate you, Joe, uh, okay. having me on. No doubt, man. Good luck with you the rest of your season, man. We need that playoff run. We're going to keep in touch. No doubt. Hopefully. All right. Take it easy. Yup. Yeah.